marathon runners to meet under the arch on Sunday about 10,000 distance runners from all over the United States and several foreign countries are expected to compete Sunday morning in the 18th annual Go St. Louis Marathon. The event, which includes the marathon, a half marathon, a four-person marathon relay and the Mississippi 7K, all starting at 7 a.m., will feature the raised site highlighting the newly renovated Gateway Arch Grounds for the second consecutive year. The starting line for Sunday's 26.2-mile marathon will be just north of the Arch, under the Martin Luther King Bridge only over K. Sullivan Boulevard. And the finish line will be near the Arch Steps. As Street Louis hometown race, we are thrilled to be using this iconic St. Louis landmark as the backdrop for our marathon weekend. Go! St. Louis President Mona Langenberg said in a release. To be able to showcase this local gem is an honor for the organization and very exciting for our runners. Another 10,000 or so are expected at Saturday's Go! St. Louis Family Day at Forest Park, where the action begins with the Go! St. Louis 5K at 8 a.m. and also includes children's fun runs, the Red, Right and Run Marathon and the Mature Mile. More than 5,000 of Saturday's participants are students from the GOAT St. Louis Youth Programs. And then there is the Health and Fitness Expo from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday at the Emerson Performance Center at Harris Stowe State University. The marathon route uses both the Ease and Martin Luther King Bridges to briefly make its way into Illinois, but the majority of the race will be run in the streets of St. Louis on a route that winds its way through solar with views of the Anheuser Busch Brewery toward Tower Grove Park and through Forest Park before heading back downtown toward the finish line in the shadow of the arch. The race spokesman said that organizers are making preparations to deal with the expected chilly temperatures on Sunday morning but also noted that most of the participants have been training in similar conditions leading up to the event. In addition to medical, water, Gatorade and Cart Boom Gel stations along the race course, a Crown Candy Chocolate station will be set up at mile 6. After the race, tired and hungry runners will have a chance to snack on some Street Louis themed favorites with Ted Cruz frozen custard and pasta houses toasted ravioli available.